ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This time we'll be playing The Saboteur, a game released in December of 2009 by Pandemic Studios. The creators of such games as Star Wars Battlefront and Mercenaries. The studio was closed by EA shortly after the release of the Saboteur and currently no longer exists, of course. So, what is the Saboteur? The Saboteur is an open world third person action adventure. We play an Irishman, Sean Devlin, in German occupied Paris during World War II. As you can see in the background, the game is in black and white atmosphere, which is part of the game because most of the game country, that means Paris and a bit of the land side, Normandy, and so on and so forth, is held in black and white and only a few colors stand out. That is mainly red and blue. Red is the color of the Germans and shows in Prussian, and blue is the color of the resistance, la resistance in France. And it, the color system and the atmosphere is an important part of the game, which will be explained later on by the game itself. So, Instead of talking in a menu screen, let's jump right into a new game, and after the intro I'll explain a bit why I chose the game, and uh, I should probably run a timer, but I will start that after the cutscene, during the cutscene. So, we'll play normal difficulty, and let's start. Is this seat taken? I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is... How many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? You're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some land drawn on a map? Aye, 
If it's a map of Ireland, you Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours. Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. So, that was the introduction. We play Sean Devlin, the Irishman, and I have already played the game last year in uh, French, however, so I was quite surprised when I saw that Sean Devlin talks. The. Yeah, Sean Devlin's voice is. That of a real Irishman, and I find it quite amusing. <laughs> amusing, sorry. So let's get out. Loading. Okay, here we are. As you can see, red is mostly. You first. Oops. Excuse me. Is the main color the cars and well the game plays during the 1940s? So it's obvious that the cars are of that era, of that time. So, what is my relationship with the game, and why did I decide to play the game? I decided to play the game because it's one of my favorite games and I think it's very much underrated. It didn't get the attention. There are bugs and it isn't a perfect game. Probably because the studios were closed shortly afterwards. I mean, the person that works on a game isn't quite happy when you tell them the studio is going to close as soon as they finish the game, so there's not quite as m much motivation behind And I had a l hate relationship with this game when I bought it for the first time in 2011. 2000 no, 2012, I think. And yes, 2012. And uh, developed in a love relationship where I like the game and mit aller Härte. So, oh, we have zero contraband, okay. So let's meet with Luke and we'll talk. I'll continue talking later. So uh, I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. 5,000 barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first I must know, are you prepared to kill if necessary? The way I see it, these Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. Well, that's my car there. I'll drive. Okay, but the real question is, are you prepared to die, Frenchman? Oh, nice weather. Tell me, are you prepared to die, Frenchman? Because you don't seem to be prepared. Let's get it. No, Sean. Don't slap the car. No, how... How can I get... Oh, okay. E. Used to click to press F due to GTA. Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I'm I am sorry. sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things. Hmm? Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. 
turned out she was married. Is he serious? All right, keep your knickers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. I was being serious. You don't know. Mad. Look at these but fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. Since when do you show kind of hospitality? So, when I bought the game, I was kind of surprised that it did not work on my graphics card because the game only works and has problems with AMD cards. So, yeah, it was kind of unfortunate and it's not, that it did not work, so it ended up in my bookshelf for over a year until I was finally able to play it and after that I really enjoyed it. So here we are. The supply cache is down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa, steady mate. Let's just get what we came for. Espécé dans froid du mer! Christ, here we go. Ah, stupid French dude. What? Wait! Why the fuck are you... Why don't you care for the French dude? He attacked you first. What's this Louis? You're getting your ass kicked. Why the fuck... What the fuck was In all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. Not now? They attack me! You attack them, they attack... We got... Fighting Irish. Objective, knock out two Nazis. Reward, unlock Haymaker attacked. Yeah, except... Seriously, I hate you, Luke. I hate you, already. Hi. No, oh, excuse me. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. The supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? Yeah. I lost my temper. It won't happen again. Let's See hope. that it doesn't. I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and foot holds on the surface of that building. Climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit from the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. It means yes. So, what is good about Sean is that he is basically a monkey, like Assassin's Creed. So, saboteur is basically a mix of the sub of the saboteur. Yes, of. Assassin's Creed and what do I have to do? Gravel. Okay. It's basically a mix of, this, of Assassin's Creed and GTA. Hi. Let's go. Hi, dude. Help me, Irishman. We could not allow them to sound the alarm. I'm on my way. How about you help me? What kind of party favors these crowds brought for us? Break open those crates. Dynamite and dynamite. I'm done. Those explosives will do nicely. Just okay. remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. Okay, let's go. So, Sean is a perfect. Ah, damn it. Sean is a monkey that can climb up walls, probably because Ireland is a mystical place where they have dragons as chief of government. How are you feeling, Irishman? I'm anxious to get the real show started. Ah, uh, most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? 
Well, the resistance could use a good mechanic. Yep, but I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. There is That's a... about to change. After what? tonight, the Nazis will have a new <laughs> enemy to fear. An Irish man who does the all of the work for you. So, what I was saying, in Ireland, we, they have dragons running the country and they insert a foot tag, so the Irishmen are forced to climb buildings and move along. Is just up ahead. We I need to create it. a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. The car was parked not perfectly, and the question is how in the hell do you know that I can't climb up buildings? I mean, is that a requirement? To join the French resistance, you have to be able to climb buildings, or else you are not able to join the resistance, because then you're not worthy enough. I don't know, I have no idea. So, Luke, do your work. Oh. Time to leg it. An innocent man died. So, up here and ouch, that hurt. That hurt. Okay, let's get over here. Three and place it. So, now it's time to get out of here. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was not planned at all. So, as you can see now Darkness to speak. No, 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 Change the course of history, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. I must admit it. That fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is yeah. just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear, house by house, and street by street. When you can smell. As petrol and CO2. The 
it as different. No, but as you can see, it turned more colorful because the French now got their hope back. It's a rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Yeah, we'll go. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. What I owe you a drink. So, that's it. Let's park the car. Oops, sorry. Get out. Oh. What do you want? So, I think it's time to end the episode now. So, I thank you for watching the first part of Let's Play the Saboteur. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will continue watching. Um, I'm standing here, okay? So, I hope you will continue watching the Let's Play, and I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye. Paris, you don't drink alone in the city, but you sure as hell blow up an entire building alone. Let's see what happens in the next episode. And. Let's see if we make ourselves a name as a saboteur.